What's up team? Welcome back to another installment of Dark Souls 3. Why am I hearing a crystal lizard? If I remember correctly, I did kill the one that was right here. Is there's probably another one. Oh, is there <laughs> I didn't see it. No 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 no. Just you die, I rather stay here. I don't know, I thought I would kill... No, probably on my other character. They're both close to the point where I think I did something and I didn't do it. Ow. Thank you for your flame, now die. So, previously, I said I would be exploring this area. This is the biggest part of the DLC, so... As we slide down... The ice... We'll try to explore this area as thoroughly as I can. And right off the bat, here we go with an item and a vista. Whenever there's an item that seems pointless to you, it's probably to show you something. And in this case, that you probably, probably should be going down. Because as you can see, there are things that are even writings you know so it kind of tells you that there is an area that you need to access which i've already you know i've already done i have already dealt with it the first time i played this dlc obviously i went here before i go down there so it was uh fun times now uh, before i go down here uh, is probably an item I need to take another pointless item maybe who knows we'll see this is the introduction to the uh, this type of enemy which seem pointless they don't deal that much damage but yeah they do come in large numbers and they might or might not deal significant amounts of damage to you let's go back to this one and uh, this so that I do get a deal of uh, HP regen something I like it's not that much but it's good Ooh. though it's to be honest it's a bit pointless to kill those things they're really really not that they don't give that much souls and they give stalk, dung pie, and overall, it's not worth it. Oh, this is where we should be coming from. What's this? Stay calm. <laughs> oh yes, if you do come from this side, they will probably start on you the first time you arrive here. Anyway. Ah, oh, you bastard. <laughs> yeah. He probably uh, gave someone a scare here. Now here's a tough enemy that is coming ahead right through this passage. I do remember having a hard time against it the first time, but I don't know. I guess it depends on the build. It's really aggressive, just like I am. We'll see. Oh yes, that attack is... Uh, is a problem. That attack is a problem. And he's dead. Alright. But this one is a lot easier than his friend, his big brother, that we will find sooner. And I am. I really want to see how I'm going to be faring against it. I guess part of it is that I'm used to these enemies, so I kind of know how they are going to be moving and what to dodge and what not to dodge and everything. So, yeah, probably that's the thing. But other than that, I find it's easier to deal with them with an aggressive build. I had soup. <laughs> yeah, referring to Siegfried. Yeah, deserve a. Plus one. Oh, well, 
There is nothing forlorn about you. Nope, you I am not forlorn. Ash, I suppose. I guess. Oh. I am. Oh, finally, you have come. Oh, wondrous Ash, grant us our wish. Make the tales true, and burn this world away. My lady must see flame, and you have only to show her. You are Ash, are you not? Is it not fire that you seek? Surely you've seen the rot that afflicts our world. But that witch fooled the good father and buried the flame. After we had all made up our minds, too. So, please, grant us one wish. Make the tales true and burn this world away. My lady must see flame. And you have only to show her. Oh, please, I am so terribly frightened of timidly rotting away like those, like those fools on the outside. Oh, please. He does not want to rot away. And they all have made, a, made up their mind not to rot away. And in order to do so, you need two Ash, me and Sister Frida who upon coming here I guess decided not to do so she likes the cold and it's up to us to show lady like Vati Vidya likes to call her Arya fire in order to start burning this is the rot that he's talking about this red thing that is slowly eating the world you can find it all around Ariandal and those consumed by it will become those hideous flies and eventually rot away and the inhabitants of this place do not want that fate so yeah it's up to us to burn this place away and we will do so we will do so in due time it's kind of a yeah, nice maze here that we shall explore now before i go straight up first of all let's start with the detours start by taking this item first and then going back to this bridge don't think i don't see you Tch, stupid simple gem cool then we will be back up there to the bridge where we will go to the left there's a nice item uh, not item probably uh there's a nice weapon the one that we see up there that i would like to take of course this guy is going to be a respawn he's just a normal enemy nothing too fancy about him but I'm not gonna stay here and uh, wait for him to kill me, so back to the point that we were on. And same, go this way and to the left. Again, this is a tricky place, like you always get your attention is gonna be always grabbed by these things and the enemy that's gonna be popping up and try and starting to kill them which will divert you from this and even this i didn't find the first time like it's an obvious path but it's blending so well with the scenery that if you look at it quickly you don't realize that this is a path you can step on you think it's just rocks and uh, that's an item that you only need to get and that's it right now there's some of them some of them are hostile some of them will try to attack you and make your life a bit miserable. Go away, you and him. Well, that's the weapon I'm talking about. 
and ironically it can work with my build because I'm a main dexterity phase or I'm specializing in dexterity and that's a dexterity build which is all good these are the more problematic enemies these are the uh, ones that can pose a problem because as you can see they spit acid and that acid is poisonous if you find them in numbers better to be ready so to go down there or not to go down there you know what not to go down there and as I am talking about those things I get invaded isn't that amazing anyway so let's do just take the weapon I'm okay with being invaded but I'm not okay with fighting the phantom you know near too many monsters so let's go to the bonfire shall we ow as this guy just gave us a warm welcome come here there's like enemies here you take care of them I know you want to there you go <laughs> do I look dumb to you Poise. No? Oh, come on. But that sucks. I guess the timing is a bit weird. I thought I had it, too. I thought I had the, uh, you know, the parry. But I guess I didn't. Oh well. That was a good place to fight. At least I know where my... You know where my souls are goes without saying I love invasion and being invaded so I will make certain to stay you know embered all the time so that if someone wants to invade me they're more than welcome let's go back to the uh, Gothard swords shall we if I find them Ah, there you go. Go back to these swords because they're much better. Ah yes, let's uh, get ready for the enemy that is coming shortly. I do like to fight him here for a bit. It's kind of a demonstration of what he can do so it's always nice to watch him. These are obviously frightened from him and can pose a problem as he deals massive amounts of damage. Massive! Massive amounts of damage. Ow, you serious man. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. There's, there's no way I will live. I'm into the, I'm, in, I'm locking myself into the vicious circle of trying to heal, getting struck or stricken, trying to heal again, rolling, losing my stamina, trying to heal, and him destroying me. That's why I hate this type of enemy. If you don't go about him correctly, he will destroy you. And as I was trying to talk, he throws two sets of whatever those knives he has and I lose basically 80% of my HP that's not nice man it's not nice at all I'm trying to explain things here and you've been look at this let 
The biggest problem in this fight is that, first of all, stamina. Second of all, these things that will make it harder for me to lock him. And third of all, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I can't lock into him. I can't. If I press it, it will be locking into one of those stupid things and not allowing me to lock into him. I tried to lock into him and I couldn't. The camera was my enemy. Man, I destroyed him without problem not long ago without even using a shield. So this is a bit, you know what? I got an idea. I got a small idea. Let's test it, shall we? First of all, Yeah, why don't you just go and fly into the sky, shall you? Look at this. Die, suck as shit. Die. I do have with it his weapon, by the way. I thought I would be parrying him. But... Ah, whatever. I guess the R1 spam also works on him. Now, normally, normally, what I would do is go to the right, find the path, do the giant circling, open this shortcut, and then try to fight him. Because if I die, there's no problem. At least I've already done all of these things. So, it would be easier for me to just fight him because after I do fight and defeat him bitch these are gonna be really annoying goodbye goodbye secret passage ahead uh, no not really a secret passage Go. Just go into the abyss, will you? A bit of Russian is required here. Took care of you. First go through this. I wonder what their origin used to be, what kind of race there used to be, and if they were humans or not. I don't know, maybe they used to be humans. Now, I should go straight and unlock the shortcut, but not really. First off, let's go this way. And here, as you heard it, there's gonna be uh, some magic casters. I guess they were, they used to be humans, and they transformed into this, in time. Hmm. Well, that's a neat item. I guess I forgot to pick it up, because I was there moments ago. We're gonna go back there, so no matter. This kind of serves as a reminder that there is an access point there that you can access it and if you get elevated enough you will see the crystal lizard and the crystal lizard is serving as a way for us to or a way for developers to tell you that you should probably go and look for a way to access that particular house which in first is kind of tricky if you do not take your time in this place and explore it thoroughly. 
have I wanted to this home? Yeah, I did. This is where the old fella is. This is where we need to go. Because this is where we will find. I hope this is where we will find the set. I think so. Or not. Ah, there you go. That's, uh, this is Gale's set, Slave Knight. She's cool, I like it, to be honest. Red and black always works well together. And in fact, if I do have enough poise, why not? Why on earth not? Slave Knight, 69. Now this is the problem. Oh yes. Well we do some we will do some fashion souls. There you go. It works. Two pieces of under legion, two pieces of slave knight. Looks nice. I really like the obscuring of uh, the eyes. Makes it nice. And it works especially well when you are hollowed. When your face is hideous, so yeah, it covers it pretty well, allowing you to look good. More dung pie. <laughs> what do you expect them to be dropping, other than this? That's the item that we saw, and the ambush that we also saw, but somehow forgot about. Alright, no problem. Go up. Up we go. Now that part should be done for. Uh, here it comes. Ow. I forgot. Here we go. Boom. Back to being human. I probably get back to you soon. We can go up, but first of all, let me not go down. Ah, son of a bitch. I forgot. I guess it was... you bastard. It was your fate that you should die soon. So, yeah. Your face is lost. Anyway, I should have been going up the ladder, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Go back where I was, and go back up the ladder. Oh yeah, there's this house. I should be able to access it from here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it should be from here. It's not a big deal. Where you find these stupid flies and a dark gem. Done and done. There's not much to do, not much else to do here besides, you know, open up, opening up the shortcut and continuing in with the progression. So great. I think I almost got everything. Except for that lizard, which if I recall correctly gives Twinkling, either large Titanite shards or Twinkling Titanite. I'll find out later. There's this item, which I think... Yeah, I should probably, or I need to drop down to. I can't get it normally. Go back up, thank you. Up the stairs. We do hear a, a crystal lizard, and that's the crystal lizard, as you can see. If you look carefully, it's going to lead us to a lovely little trap. Ah, oh, yes, I see you, crystal lizard. I see your intentions. These are dead, normally. 
So, take the bait. Or go, you know what, let's take the bait. Twinkle and Titanite is always good. Come to me. Oh, dead. Hmm. Lucky bastard. I know what. Let's forget about him because I'll be right back. I'm almost at the shortcut, so I will be fighting him. This is a tricky area where you find a nice and interesting miracle. If I go through this rafters here, as you can see, we'll find more enemies. But before I do any of that, and this is probably my advice to you guys, before you do any of that, make certain to open this shortcut. There's two tough enemies there, and they might kill you. You just die. Last Titanite shard. Cool. These guys are a lot more inferior than their counterparts with the rapier. So yeah. One here and one there, which will drop and probably come to us. Come to us. I'd like to aggro only one at a time. There you go. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I was reading the... <sighs> that scared me. I was reading the message that I've been summoned to another world. And that almost killed me. Damn it. Um, I'm a spear of the church. Uh, I'm in that covenant, so I do frequently... Oh no, 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 I'm a blue? Really? I'm still a blue sentinel here? Oh, that's odd. Hmm. So, what's going on here? Oh, this is a trick, isn't it? Goodbye. That's it. I guess that's it. Hmm. Ooh, that was a mad spirit. Okay. That also died. There's some weirdness in this invasion sometimes. I mean, those two of you, why didn't you kill him? The host was AFK or something. So much weird... Weird stuff was happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to come. Come, 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 come. We'll fight alone, you and me. What was that? Was I parrying him by attacking him? Or something? I guess if he attacks and I attack, I would be parrying him. Odd. And then there's this guy. Which is even worse than his friend. We'll see how we do it. The fact that he has so much HP does not make things easier, too. So yeah. 
but I'm glad we did it away with both of them. And here we find the Way of the White, Corona. It's kind of a nice ability, and it's one of uh, Gale's boss attacks. So yeah, how much is this? Three, huh? I don't know. Am I going to be able to take on the next enemy in this house or not with Riestas? Find out on the next episode. This has been Yagami, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys tomorrow. You have a nice day.